steal property and I already stole your property so let's do this please Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness is banned, peace doesn't exist, and there's only war. Abandon reason! No, only war! In this war, it's us versus them. Us being the Imperium of Man, led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And them being anybody that isn't us. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. 
us. And what's the only thing defending us from them, you might ask? Space Marines! Get off the ship, Space Marines! Space Marines! Space Marines! <laughs> Genetically modified, just like the vegetables at the grocery store, only instead of staying ripe for long periods of time, they're crafted by the Emperor to purge heretics. <laughs> Die! We're talking two hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're talking night vision. We're talking eight foot tall, 800 pound monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the bringers of death! Think of them as religion-fueled death machines helping bent on exterminating any race that isn't human, while also not being racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist, we love all races. As long as they don't have green skin. EAT BOLT GUN! Or, you know, belong to a different religion. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would call us racist. I'm a black priest for Emperor's sake. Even gods may die! We don't hate any races, except orcs, and Eldar, and Dark Eldar, and Necrons, and Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space communists, but at least they aren't trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand, one such chapter of Space Marines are the Ultramarines, or if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs, that are charged with exterminating the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that are stealing your shit. Clever of the damned orcs. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value absolute. So, I'm... I'm guessing that's pretty important then. Strategic value absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value absolute. You occupy the role of Captain Titus, a soft-spoken junior officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong that's joined by an OG sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandros that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rulebook called a codex. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. For the Emperor! To be perfectly clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only with mods out the ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected Crypt Marine... I played as a Blood Marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. I scum! No prisoners! For the Emperor! Ah! So if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War and would rather play as a Blood Raven than an Ultramarine Smurf Blueberry. None of this is really important, let's start purging and also spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge ass titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children that shouldn't even exist. Hey, get back here. Don't run away from me. Why do you even exist? Why? Come back. Yeah! All the way up to the orc war boss Grimskull himself, who was basically Shrek in his final form. You try to steal my titans? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out your throat! <laughs> Equally as diverse are the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with, from a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter, because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy bolter for this heresy. The quickest way to purge through scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple hit combos, but believe it or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's that's right, these guys are so draconian they don't need to pick up health kits because the enemies are the health kits. <laughs> Crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Die, heretics! Yum! Your melee weapon of choice is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for cutting things, while you're also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. On the other hand, or rather with both hands, the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, but it also hits like a bus, running a stop sign in a school zone. Hey yo, orc, are you Elon Musk? I'm about to send your ass into outer space. And you've got a power axe in between those two extremes, and I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition when you use it, and I'm oddly okay with that. <laughs> Yeah!
If you want to get fancy, you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. Die, green skin! So it's safe to say that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does approve. I said, save so I think I stunned too hard, I'm stuck in the terrain. Brother! Brother, I am stuck in the terrain! Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? Brother! Brother! Brother, I am pinned here! Eventually, you'll realize you can't just slice your way through the game. <laughs> Chaos Marines and their pedantic piece of shit leader meme rock. <laughs> that noise cannot defeat me! to start firing guns if you want to survive or more specifically bolters bolters brothers if you call this thing an assault rifle i'm gonna break your arms because it may be used like an assault rifle only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon or a 308 the size of your finger it fires a 998 which should actually be a 75 cal according to the lore that's essentially like firing a self-propelled can of red bull that explodes after penetrating its target making it almost into an assault rifle rpg hybrid how many fucking robots does this place have are we invading an imperium outpost or amazon headquarters i should have never canceled my prime you have downward variants and upward variants like the bolter pistol in case you've got something heavy in your hands and my personal favorite the stalker bolter which is the most satisfying sniper rifle i've ever had the privilege of using just like Sesame Street, you ready? And one, and two, and not three, not four, five. I'm really glad that all the orcs saw that are about to be burned, because that was embarrassing. If you absolutely, positively, have to expend as many rounds as possible, the Storm Bolter does exist, which is like a double-barreled LMG that's cool for the first five minutes that you use it. The rate of fire of the Storm Bolter? Perfection. The accuracy of the Storm Bolter? Yeah, just put them anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. But better alternatives do exist, because the game gives you four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and- Fuck, 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 you're way too much- oh. I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna need two bolters for this heresy. But once I started fighting the forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker for the Laz Cannon or Laz Cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan Laser that was clearly superior because here's me killing a chaos marine with a bolter. I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. And here's me doing the same deed with a Laz Cannon slash Laz Cannon. By the Emperor, that's powerful. For your heavy slot, it's all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? A Vengeance Launcher. That sounds promising. Even a flame bursting shotgun exists, but all of these specialized weapons rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Burn them in flame! Burn in holy fire! Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't ask me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor. It's a long story. But channeling your inner Dark Souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster is a significant portion of your playthrough. It's even useful in boss fights, because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves? Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, baby! How does it feel to get crumped by a member of your own race? On that note, there are even these little Mike Wazowski looking dudes called Squigs that explode on impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, Squig, merge! Merge into the group! Get in there! Get in there! Yeah! But as I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll gain access to a jump pack, which when combined with a thunder hammer is like an NBA dunk contest mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside of LeBron, five seconds left. LeBron leaps! Oh my Emperor! LeBron James with a complete disregard for orc life! Feel the Emperor's wrath! This jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. I fucking 
love my community! And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything. And that's called Fury! If being a space marine wasn't already super soldier enough, you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and, well... Deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity, punctuated with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Oh, that never gets old. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass space marine, here's your shot. <laughs> The only aspect of the game that I love more than the combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. So you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game for being just running and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years, I still don't know. Hey look, a lift. But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't look like you. Ah, stop resisting! I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitched, but I don't apologize to Xenos. The story isn't all that important, seeing as the game only takes five to six hours to beat, and the best character is Orc Warboss Grimskull, because he's the only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. <laughs> Not that my second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault, and as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. Engaging warp spider! Ah! A warp me, spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're I hate the final boss fight with Mimroth, who's obsessed with becoming ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game is about the gameplay, not about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something, crash is whack. It's not about the plotting, it's about the purging. The end. And that's about it, but before I go, I wanted to mention as of me recording this video right now, it is $7 on Steam. This is in no way a sponsored video. I'm pretty sure Relic, the guys that made it, don't even exist anymore. Of course, Sega still exists, but I don't think Relic is around anymore. So from an unbiased position, if you have $7 on you that you're not going to spend on your next meal, I highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand, Warhammer 40k is fascinating. So again, $7. $7? Totally worth it. Thanks very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we make fun of the salamander.
I am Tankfish, and I still don't know which side is port and which side is starboard on a ship. Why not just use left and right? Welcome to Dead Ahead, a game where we kept making really and funny puns. That's an enemy battleship in front. <laughs> Death Ahead. <laughs> This game is basically World of Warship, but instead of you controlling a ship, it's you and a bunch of other Roblox Spets controlling a ship. The guns need to be manned. How do you fire? I'm clicking, it's not fire. Someone has to drive the ship. Uh, guys, we're doing a uh, tactical beaching. The rangefinder has to spot the enemies and guide the guns. I took ballistics in school. Fascinating subject. Things go up, things go down. The Air Force has to be deployed. Wait, how do you... And the AAs have to secure the sky. It was a cluster f A very fun cluster f What is the name of our ship? Uh, Antares Imperial Navy Sinkable 2. Why? Because it's Unsinkable 2. <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> what happened to the unsinkable one? Uh, that was our battleship last game. It got sunk. Well, why does the water look like a tarp? Like one of those blue tarps. <laughs> oh, enemy destroyer! Enemy destroyer! 16! Botic! Starboard! Starboard! Enemy much. destroyer! Starboard. Starboard. starboard! Stop saying starboard! I don't know which side is starboard. Left or right? Right! Right! My right or your right? They're behind the mountain. They're hiding. Alright, I'm turning the shipping kids. There's torpedoes. Wait! There's another... There's another ah. enemy destroyer! Enemy destroyer! Right enemy destroyer! 315 north! Enemy dreadnought spotted! 13 north! Ah. Fire the destroyer on the starboard! Ignore the dreadnought for now, it's probably not gonna hit us. Right side! Fire! 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 Our, that's oh, our destroyer. destroyer! No, you spats! Fire the enemy destroyer, not ours! Go, go, go! Volley fire! Fire, fire, fire! Kill it! Bro, you all- Bro, the majority How did you miss? Bozo! <laughs> You guys suck! Oh my god! Oh, you guys missed it! Years of academy training wasted! Oh, he's gone. We saw one! Oh my god. That's the one! That's our destroyer! Oh, that's, that's ours! <laughs> Fire! 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 They're gonna launch your torpedoes! <laughs> Please don't miss! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! That took way too long! Torpedoes! Yeah, I'm dodging! I'm dodging! He's whipping it! He's whipping it! Get the other one! Fire! Fire! Go! 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 Take him out! Bosley, got it! Come on! They're almost dead! Oh sh! Torpedoes! Get him out of here! Fire! He's <laughs> down! Let's go! We got him! To the depths they go! Good hit, boy! Yeah. Enemy, battleship. Enemy battleship! Enemy battleship! Fire! Shit! Oh, crap, we're taking fire. These randoms have major skill issues. They're firing too high! We, we're getting hit in. We're getting hit in. Someone told the enemy to stop shooting at us. I gotta go pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, incoming! Oh, shit! Your boy's down. Keep playing! Oh, Super structure diamond! I got a good hit there. Keep firing! We're going, we're gonna go down. Be fire! They're down a turret. Our ship's rusting! We're good, we're good, we're good! We're not good, we're not good! I wanna hit them! We are hitting the finder! We are hitting the sun's in our way! We're, we're blinded! Incoming! Bring me back! Oh my god! I don't think we can take any more hits. Oh, it's like our dudes are gonna make it! Yeah. We got it! Yeah. Oh my god, it was a train! It was a train! Let's go! We won, but it won cost. Supreme victory! We're not sinking, we're tactically moving downward. Everyone! Where's the carrier? Where's the carrier? Right here! Right, right here! On me! On me! On me! I see it! I see it! I see it! I see it! Let's go! Kabakazi! Go! 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 A bad massage. Cue out your two refills, you know what you have to do. Yeah. Oh my god, I see Day's laser just fing kamikazing himself. Mosulin, you got this! <laughs> yeah, Mosulin! Kamikaze! Bazaar! <laughs> Medal of Honor right there. They're fighting against fing Japan. <laughs> and they say Americans aren't brave. Launch torpedo, launch torpedo, launch torpedo, go! Yeah. Look ahead of the Citadel, Captain Dow, someone else steer the ship! Oh my god.
my god. Volleying, volleying. Move my head. Move my head. Get up here. Get up here. Get me, get me, get me. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, well, it was nice knowing you. Our team depends upon you. All we have left is a cruiser and a dream. Oh. Take him. Take him. Take him. Take him. Brian Kenneth, fire him. He's not looking too good. Take him. Yes! Take him. yes. What's left? What's left? They're carrier, right? Uh, no, they're battleship. Battle they're battleship. Okay, okay. Well, I have to be really careful about this. Oh, oh no. Here comes the volley. Ah, oh, they missed. They missed. Fire, fire, fire. Oh. Oh. Miss. Oh my god, this is scary, man. <laughs> good leads. Good leads. Good leads, guys. Oh. We're, we might actually f***ing get them. Whoa. Oh. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. No, maybe not. <laughs> oh sh**. Ah! Take cover, take cover. Are they rusted? Are they at least rusted? I, I, I don't know. Not They're, not They're not rusted. They're not rusted. We got him, we got him, we got him. Yes! 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 Let's go! Oh, Jesus, 1v1, oh, Jesus, 1v1. Jesus Christ. That was some insane. Insane clutch! God damn! My ass clenches every time they fire. DD landing, let's go! US Marine, sir, yes, sir, hoorah! Fire grenade, get down! Sir, yes, sir, hoorah! hoorah. Battle buddy! Battle buddy, over here, battle buddy! You've been stabbed because you don't have a battle buddy! Sir, yes, yes, sir! Mom told me to before. take out the dishes! All right, we're dropping you boys here to backstab them. Okay, tank. Right um, here. Drop. Go, go, go. Drop, drop. Get the f*** out of my car! Clicks! Clip that guy! I'm reloading! Why are we reloading? I don't know. Are you finished? No! Yo. It was at this moment that these two dumbasses realized that the APC is indeed kind of OP. This f***. Car can only be killed by these flat guns, bombardments, planes, and boat. So basically, if we just circle around here near the hangar, there is gonna be no boat, only one flat gun that we have to watch out for, and a place to hide in case we hear or see shits coming from the sky. With this plan and my recently obtained driver license, we were basically fucking invincible. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. They're low, they're low. F uh, remember me? <laughs> I'm constantly hot. I cannot fly sober. Enemy APC in our hangar. Oh, sh We'll take control of their vehicle. Hey, bro. Hey, we are appropriating this vehicle to the Antares Empire. Now go. You are now an Antares soldier. Yes. Nice work. You can't hurt them with that gun. Yes, I can. Nah, bro. It belongs to Orion. <laughs> Not anymore. Let's roll, partner. What? No. <laughs> partner. My leg. My leg. <laughs> My leg is gone! Oh, my leg! My leg I was told we are gonna play Among Us! What is this?! Oh, what? Wait, what the f*** is that?! What? 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 <laughs> Yo, superior technology? Silence. They don't know where we are. Shh. Radio silence. Radio silence, guys. Okay. Don't say any, bro. We got whisper. Dang, shut the f*** up. You're doing ASMR. Bro, wait, wait, wait. Enemy, enemy ship! Enemy ship! You see it? I see it. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! oh. It's on! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay guys, here's the plan. First, we sneak behind them and we nay nay their carrier. Ah yes, an unscheduled scrapping. Uh, the moment I can mark them, that means we're in range and they probably won't even be able to see us. So we'll just <laughs> launch like three f***ing salvo torpedo and dip and they won't even know what sank their carrier. Oh, I see them, I see them, I see them. Alright, marked, marked. Let's set it to bikini bottom. <gasps> Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Good job, boys. Now fire their battleship. Oh, f***. 
Enemy planes incoming. We just killed their queen. They're going. They're coming after us. Everyone, get on the ah! Evasive maneuvers. Well, there's two. Ten no heck. Oh my God! The dodge! The dodge! The dodge! Enemy destroyer coming towards us. Sing, sing the destroyer first. Launch the torpedoes. We got him, we got him. God, shit. This is what happens when two World of Warships play 1v1 in destroyers. See their guns aim towards us? It's aiming at us! It's looking at us! Ah, we're running, we're running away. We're not running away, we're just charging backwards. Okay, let's regroup with our guys and let them tank all the shots. The cruiser's in range, it's lunch. Go, go, go. These are gonna hit. Nice. Oh, yes. Cruise the song, cruise the song. Battleship, battleship. Battleship, battleship, battleship. Their battleship should be pretty low since we torpedoed the shit out of it earlier. No. Oh, oh, he died. Oh, damn it. Suffering from success. All the planes just fly around the battleship. It's got the AA coverage. Enemy bomber, enemy die bomber. Yeah, get him, get him. He dove a little bit too far. Attack aircraft. Oh, he's trying to kamikaze. Oh, but he missed. <laughs> Yeah, that one, I don't, well. Got annihilated. He missed again. <laughs> he missed again. The sky is free of planes. You guys know what's happening. Torpedoes. They're gonna get that. Oh, oh, they see me. Oh, oh no. Oh, that one's gonna hit. Mine's gonna hit. Is it? No. Carter. Oh, it hit. It hit. Oh, it hit us. Yes, let's go. Oh, you got him? Nice. Nice kill. Oh, no, you didn't. He's still alive. Launch your torpedo, launch your torpedoes! Shoot your torpedoes and get out of there! Shoot your torpedoes and get out of there! <laughs> oh my god, they might hit! They might actually hit! I'm yeah, watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. I think they're gonna hit, they're gonna hit! All of them are gonna hit, all of them are hitting! They're, hit. they're all hit! Oh no, I died! But they'll eat that one last torpedo. That was worth it. Good torpedo actions. That was, yeah. The torpedoes were raping them! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh, victory! victory. Three victory! Oh, good job. Fire, fire! Oh, I see one, yeah, I see one up there. Fire, fire! Fire, fire! Oh my god! He's running! He's running! Get those junks out of the sky! We're swatting flies! We're swatting flies! No, 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 boys, when they see a bee. Why you hear Mosquito 3 a.m. in the morning? No, 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 but give him PTSD, make him keep him away from us. Keep him away from us? They don't dare to approach us! They don't dare to get in our radio! Like, I was like, oh, you're approaching me? <laughs> and that's it for this video. Subscribe, like, and spam me in the comment section or I'll send you to the bikini bottom.